Hello, safety warriors. I'm Ranger Ray, back again to guide you through the fascinating world of road safety. Today, we are diving into the silent language spoken by the roads themselves, the road markings. Road markings are painted lines, patterns, or symbols on the street surface that help manage and control traffic flow. They provide essential information without saying a word. But what do these markings mean? Let's find out. In India, white and yellow colors are predominantly used for markings on the road. White lines can indicate lanes, direct traffic, or even tell you when to stop. Yellow lines, on the other hand, often warn us not to cross or highlight hazards. White or yellow with black are used for curb and object marking. Let's delve deeper and understand what each of these road markings means. On the roads we travel, lines speak to us. The center line on a two-lane or multi-lane road is like a language that guides traffic. It can be a single broken line, which allows for safe passing and overtaking, or a solid line telling us not to cross. There's even a combination of these lines. Remember, a solid line on your side means do not cross. Notice the double white or yellow lines on the road. These are like the roads do not cross sign, especially where it's hard to see far ahead. They tell us to stay in our lane because it's not safe to pass here. Let's keep our eyes open for these lines and respect what they stand for. See those mixed lines on the road. A broken line on your side means go ahead when safe for overtaking, but a solid line says stay in your lane. And remember, a single yellow line is also a no-go unless you are turning right or making a U-turn. Alternate black and white strips painted parallel to the road generally known as zebra crossing is a reminder to stop and look out for pedestrians. It's their space to cross the road safely. Drivers and cyclists, when you spot these stripes, it's your cue to slow down, stop, and let people walk across. Just before the zebra crossings, you'll notice another important road marking, the stop line. It's a solid line that tells all vehicles exactly where to wait when the traffic signal is red. Ignoring this line not only disrespects the rules, but can also make it dangerous for pedestrians and lead to messy traffic. On our roads, the giveaway line is a pair of dotted lines you'll find at junctions, telling us to let the traffic on the main road go first. It's like saying after you with a dash of road manners. Spotting the reverse triangle sign that accompanies it means we should look out and yield to the traffic coming from right. Have you noticed the continuous lines that run along the edge of the road? These border lines are like the boundaries of a sports field, showing the limits of the main carriageway for drivers. Staying within these lines is essential for a safe drive. When you see a solid continuous yellow line along the curb, that's the road's way of saying keep moving, no parking here. These lines, often next to a no parking sign, show us where parking would block the way or cause trouble for traffic flow. Great job, safety warriors! Today you learned some of the important informatory road signs and their meaning for road users. Always remember to follow these rules whenever you see these signs.